Hey, this is the third section in our mini stretching series. Each one of our components or sections is roughly only about 10 minutes long. So you can do them pretty much anytime, sitting in front of the TV, uh, during your lunch break, right before you go to bed, right, right as soon as you get up in the morning. They don't take much time at all. You can pick and choose. The next two groups we are going to work are your buns and your hips. We're gonna start with down dog. Hands out in front of you, tuck the toes under, booty comes up. You are making a triangle with your body. You can walk your hands out if it's a little too intense. The ultimate goal is to get your heels to the floor. Keep your breathing relaxed in through your nose, out through your mouth. You should feel this through your lower back, your calves, your hamstrings, your upper back, you should feel all of the tension come off of your neck. You are trying to keep your ears between your shoulders and you are actually pushing through the arms and lifting the tailbone towards the ceiling. Abs are always engaged. Keeping the breathing relaxed in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feel tension coming out of my shoulder blades, out of the base of my neck, out of the back of my head. Lift the tailbone as high to the ceiling as you can absolutely get. Breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And when you're done, Bring the knees back to the floor and come back to a relaxed seated position. Next one we're going to do is we're going to lie on our back. Feet are flat, knees are bent, head is neutral. Nice and easy. You're going to bring one foot towards the ceiling. If you can grab the inside of your foot, go ahead and do that. What we're doing is we're pulling the knee towards the floor, keeping the foot flexed towards the ceiling. If you cannot reach the inside of the foot, you can grab your ankle. So we're going to grab here, pushing the knee towards the floor, and then we're going to go ahead and take the other leg and stretch through your hip flexor. Keep your breathing relaxed, in through your nose, out through your mouth. My head is neutral. My chin is a fist distance from the chest. And once again, if you feel any tension or pain that you don't think is supposed to be in the stretch, stop. Take a break, ask a question, readjust. It might just be your alignment. Don't ever push more. Don't ever push a stretch into pain. Stretches are supposed to help relax and relieve. Deep breath in. On the exhale, bring the straight leg back to neutral and then lower the bent leg. Deep breath in. On the exhale, second foot comes up. Grab the inside. Breath on the exhale, we straighten the second leg. So we're stretching the buns and the hips on the bent leg. We're stretching the hip flexor on the straight leg. Keeping the breathing relaxed in through the nose, out through the mouth. In. Head 
mid neutral and bring the straight leg back to neutral and gently release your back leg. For our hips is the basic butterfly. You're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together. I like to clasp my fingers and wrap them around the underneath of my toes. And then I like to let my hips or my knees drop heavy and I lift up through my chest and let all the tension from a straight arm. Once again, here's an arm stretch. This is also relieving all the tension in the back of my shoulder blades, the back of my neck, at the same time that it is opening my hips and relieving any tension on the insides of my thighs. Keeping my breathing relaxed, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Abs are tight or engaged. Nice and easy. Breathing relaxed. Every once in a while when I'm doing this, if my left shoulder is actually popped out a little bit, I will feel it actually pop back in, but it doesn't feel like it's out right now. But I am feeling a nice stretch through my arms, the upper part of my back between my shoulder blades, my neck, the inner, inner thighs. And actually, because I'm pulling up against my feet, I am feeling a little bit of a stretch on the outside of my ankle as well. And for the next one, we're going to go ahead and tuck the left foot under and bring the right foot over. Now all you're going to do is take the left arm and hug the right knee. This is going to stretch the outside of the hip. Keeping the breathing relaxed in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and easy. Remember, don't go any further than your body will allow. If you're feeling any pain at all that you think is different than the actual stretch because of normal muscle tension, take a break, stop, reposition, try it again. And on the exhale, we're gonna go ahead and release. We're now gonna take the right foot, cross it under. If you need a guideline, I'm trying to point my knee directly at you. If you don't have that flexibility, don't do it. It's okay to have it out here a little bit. But this allows me an easier time to get the top foot over. And then I'm going to wrap with my right and hug the knee into my chest. Now here on this side, I can actually feel that my hip wants to pop. Um, from normal everyday wear and tear. Uh, with as many years as I have of dance classes and teaching pole, as well as being a personal trainer, my hips pop all the time. And sometimes it's a relief of pressure, and sometimes it is not. Deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Continue to hug the knee in towards the chest. Now for this one, like I said, I'm feeling it in my hip. I feel it in the outer part of my butt cheek, but I do also feel it right across the lower back for any tension that I might have there. Deep breath in on the exhale. Go ahead and release. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, enjoy, be safe, and remember, Never do more than what your body is willing to let you do. Bye.